Good morning, a very late morning. Uh, sorry for the late video, but we had some power issues this morning as a squirrel decided to, well, make himself very much personally known to our power cables here around uh, the uh, neighborhood. So unfortunately, we lost power for much of this morning in a very small section. The good news, though, is that we are going to have a combo video uh, for this Halloween. Happy Halloween, everyone out there. I got some good news for some of you ghouls and ghosts out there, but uh, let's dive into some data first. First of all, some observations. Uh, as we head towards the noon hour, we have increased in cloud cover with temperatures ranging from the mid to upper 50s over the interior and lower to mid 60s along the coast with a west southwesterly wind around 5 to 10 miles per hour. And take a look at the latest radar here with our surface map. You can see high pressure starting to pull away. And you see these showers approaching. Now, you might think to yourself, hey, this is going to be a problem for all you trick-or-treaters out there. But I have some good news. Take a look at this. It's called a skew T. This is what meteorologists use to look at the atmosphere uh, in a uh, three-dimensional and two-dimensional uh, way uh, for the height of the atmosphere. And you see this right here. This is a lot of dry air. So basically, that rainfall is moving into a very dry layer in the atmosphere, in the mid-levels of the atmosphere. And so when that happens, the rainfall dries up and you end up with more of an isolated nature of the showers with cloud cover. But really, majority of this rainfall, if you look at the observations, scroll down a little bit, is generally light or not even reaching the ground. You have a few pockets here and there of a brief heavy downpour, but for the most part, you're dealing with cloudy conditions. So as that rainfall approaches, we will start to see uh, some increase in the cloud cover, but the majority of the showers will hold off. Now, in the meantime, down in the tropics, we do have some activity. We have Tropical Storm Lisa, and Lisa literally just developed uh, about 30 minutes ago, and it is to the south of Jamaica, and it is relatively disorganized okay but it's moving into a favorable area and will be capable of intensifying now you see this feature right here this is the winds at 500 millibars this is an upper level ridge this will drive lisa right into guatemala and that is essentially what's being expected on the uh, latest forecast from the nhc so look for uh, our storm to strengthen possibly reaching hurricane strength most likely a strong tropical storm with no impact or threats for the United States. So that's certainly some good news. Taking a look at some of our satellite pictures, this is the water vapor satellite picture. You can see our little short wave here associated with our approaching rainfall is currently in the upper Midwest and heading towards the St. Lawrence River Valley. That means your strongest lifting is all focused up towards the East and Great Lakes. And that's why a lot of this, along with the dry air, is this going to lead to just a few scattered showers and majority of our rainfall is expected for tonight now you can see on the visible satellite picture clouds are increasing and on the infrared once this system gets out of the way it gets pretty quiet all the way through the rest of the week so let's take a look at some model guidance here we'll take a look at the latest uh, european guidance with our 500 millibar pva this tells us where all of our lifting is you can see this disturbance is moving pretty quickly and starts to exit out of the area by tomorrow morning and by the afternoon hours we have substance building in so again majority of the lifting and strong lifting is really going to be moving through around midnight so by the time you're done doing whatever you're going to be doing tonight well the rain's going to be coming in along with some warm air transport and cold air transport so what basically what this tells me is that once this once this approaches with the strongest lifting it's going to be around 10 o'clock at night so this is also some certainly good news if you are a phillies fan and you want to watch the baseball game tonight well it looks like the majority of the rainfall will hold off until after about 10 p.m and this is precipitable water value and this is tells you uh the amount of moisture in the atmosphere that's being lifted and you can see the bulk of that moisture is focused over southern new jersey and will really reach a peak around midnight and then gets cleared out as you head towards the morning hours so this is the next 90 hours you can see our 
areas of little showers start to develop this afternoon again isolated in nature so if you're going out have a small umbrella but i really don't think it's going to have too much of an impact on you by the time we get to late in the evening about 10 p.m we got to start to get more widespread showers and then some steadier rainfall maybe up to about half an inch of rain possible down along the jersey shore and around long island as you go further north and west you're lucky to get a tenth of an inch of rain out of this this clears out and then by the time we get to tomorrow morning the showers start to exit and tomorrow afternoon is pleasant and pleasant conditions continue on through the week walking through our forecast for today once again watch out for a few pesky showers look for temperatures to rebound into the lower to mid 60s over much of the region with uh, overall comfortable conditions for this afternoon for tonight showers develop look for lows tomorrow morning in the mid to upper 50s and tomorrow afternoon as the showers start to exit the region look for clearing skies towards evening with high temperatures in the lower to mid 60s on wednesday look for tranquil conditions with lows in the lower to mid 50s and high temperatures in the mid to upper 60s on thursday high pressure and control with sky cloud cover lows in the lower to mid 40s over the interior upper 40s to lower 50s along the coast highs in the lower to mid 60s on friday tranquil conditions continue with low temperatures ranging from the lower to mid 40s and high temperatures ranging from the lower to mid 60s on saturday high pressure starts to slowly give way look for a slight increase in cloud cover low temperatures will range from the upper 40s to lower 50s high temperatures in the mid to upper 60s on sunday increasing cloud cover is expected but dry conditions will be remaining in place with low temperatures in the lower to mid 50s and high temperatures in the mid to upper 60s and on monday next monday a cold front will approach with periods of showers possibly heavy at times low temperatures in the lower to mid 60s high temperatures in the upper 60s to lower 70s that is your forecast discussion for today have a happy halloween and as always stay safe out there